his ribs are intertwined with one another. Ya salam, every one of us, every one of us. Waltafat saqu bisaq. And so much so that the legs are intertwined with one another because of the crush of the grave. And, and, and that is, إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَ إِذِنِ الْمَسَاقِ And on that day is the path to your Lord. You'll be going back to Allah. These are all authentic reports that I'm giving you. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Waqiyah in verse 83 to 87, فَلَوْلَا إِذَا بَلَّغَتِ الْحُلْقُومِ And when the soul has reached the throat, وَأَنْتُمْ حِينَ إِذِنْ تَنْذُرُونَ And you are all looking at it. وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْكُمْ وَلَكِنْ لَتُبْسِرُونَ And my angels are all around the soul, all around the body to take the soul. However, you cannot see it. فَلَوْلَا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ غَيْرَ مَدِينِينَ And if you are not truly obliged by Allah to worship Him, تَرْجِعُونُهَا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Return it back to Him if you can. Challenge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are not obliged by Allah to worship Him, if you are too arrogant to worship Allah, to bend your back right now to pray, then, then challenge, turn it back into the body if you can. The challenge of the one who created you and created your soul. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-An'am, verse 93, He says, and listen to this, وَلَوْ تَرَى My people, if you're only to see, إِذِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي غَمَرَاتِ الْمَوْثِ When the sinful people are on the throngs of their death, وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ بَاسِتُوا أَيْدِيهِمْ And the angels have put forward their hands. أَخْرِجُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ They're telling the soul, get out of the body. Right now they're ripping the body, the soul out of the body, just and, and ripping the nerves and the arteries and everything with it. أَخْرِجُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ الْيَوْمَ تُجْزَوْنَ عَذَابَ الْهُونَ Today you'll be given the terrible punishment. بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ Because of what you used to say about Allah, that which was not true. وَكُنْتُمْ أَنْ أَنْ آيَاتِهِ تَسْتَكْبِرُونَ And used to be haughty, and used to be proud against the verses, when, this, when the verses of Allah were, were recited to you, and when the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were presented to you. My brothers in Islam, in what state will you die? Will you die after doing a good deed? Will you die after doing a bad deed? Will you die as a believer? Will you die as a disbeliever? My friends, you must think about the state that you die. Because truly in the way that you die, that is how your, your actions will be sealed. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالْخَوَاتِيمِ Verily actions are by its endings. In the authentic hadith in Bukhari, actions are by its endings. So what is your last action going to be? That is going to be the icing on the cake of how beautiful the action is or how evil your actions are. And based on the last action that you do, you will either have the angels of mercy with you or you will either have the angels of, of, of reward with you. Choose how you do your last action. It is for this reason why Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah used to say always, he said, I do not, I'm not worried about my past sins. Because I'm an optimistic person, I know if I ask Allah intensely, Allah will forgive me. Of course with the condition that you, you ask Allah, right? And you repent properly. So I know that if I ask Allah intensely, and I make amends, and I rectify, Allah will forgive me, I know, because my Lord is forgiving, and He loves me. However, I'm worried about my last deed. Because truly, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالْخَوَاتِيمِ Verily actions are by its endings, and I know right after that, I cannot do any more actions. So I will have no chance to say, say astaghfirullah. So he's worried about his last deed, and this is why he rectifies every deed, because that could be his last. And this is the way the believer should be. Complete tawakkul that Allah will forgive if you make dua inshallah and constant forgiveness, yet worried about the last deed because he will never be able to say astaghfirullah after that. And as a result, he's always, always rectifying himself at every single point. My brother and sister in Islam, I remember seeing a video of a quadriplegic. And he was a Muslim, his name was Abdullah, and they were showing his video on Al Majd TV, and I happened to see it, and subhanAllah, it has touched my heart. The quadriplegic is a, is a person who is paralyzed from the head down. So as a result, he cannot move his arms or his legs, and he has very minimal feeling, and he has very minimal body functions. The only thing he can do is probably speak, perhaps move his eyes, and just a little bit of his head. And this person was being interviewed by, by, uh, by, the, by the TV reporter. And he said, Ya Abdullah, what do you regret now? He said, Wallahi, I, regr I regret three things. What is it that you regret? The first thing I regret is that I did not bend my back in prayer when I could bend my back. And I remember the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Qur'an, when Allah says, يَوْمَ يُدْعَوْنَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَهُمْ لَا يستطيعون. 
فَلَا يَسْتَطِعُونَ On that day they will be called to prostrate and they will not be able to. So I remember that this verse is really for me. Now I'm being asked by Allah to prostrate and I'm not able to because at that time when I was being told to prostrate, I did not prostrate to Allah. The second thing I regret is that, is that I wish I could turn a page of the Qur'an. Because wallahi for you, it is so easy to turn the page of the Qur'an. For me, it is as difficult as moving a mountain. And so he regrets that when he could move a page of the Qur'an, he had not moved the page of the Qur'an. And the third thing he regrets is that, oh, how I wish I could hug my mother and say, I, please mother, forgive me. And that is impossible for me to do now. I cannot even touch her, nor can I feel her, even if she touches me. Imagine that. My friends, do these things before you're not able to. Pray before you're, you're prayed upon. Do good deeds before you have no other chance. Come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before your death. We will stop here bi again for another few minutes inshallah and then we'll start again with the next session inshallah. The next session will be the grave bi